Hey guys, just thought I'd show you a little gardening update. Uh, English cottage garden style more than anything. We've taken out several trees, making room for sunlight. See if that helps from last year. I got a bunch of seeds started in here. More coming along. Oh, different, two different kinds of heirloom tomatoes, radishes, bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, basil, different things like that. We got my onion sets in a box. I gotta water that. <clears throat> but this area over here is Mike just got done pulling a tree that he cut and pulled it up out of the creek, but <clears throat> we're going to line this little area with some trellises for beans and peas. I've been working on this little part of a hill. Um, last year that was just all sitting underneath rock. So I got my shepherd's hook in there, got some flower seeds planted in it. And this little section down here is going to be for like herbs and flowers. Last year this area did pretty darn well. Um, these little boxes, of course, are right here by the creek. We got the shade from the bridge. But obviously I'll still plant some of these, put my bench back here. I've got those colored tires that I painted last year uh, to plant things in. I'm going to plant things all along through here. Anyway, just thought I'd show you where I'm at so far. And uh, update you as I go along. Lucky came out to play. Hey, Lucky. Hey, Lucky. <laughs> and she's starting to squat if you go to pet her like the chickens do. See? Oh, what a good lucky. Yeah. She's bending all her wings, babe. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. She puts her wings out. And... Now we got all this uh, <clears throat> wood from that one tree uh, cut and split. So we're working on next year's wood already. We got this pile and we got that stack there. But we got a lot done today. Well, my little sink bench that Mike put up for me worked well. Got a lot of things started. Oh my gosh. And all these pots started. Those are some of my late starts. But I'll tell you what I've been having a problem with. The chickens, whenever uh, they see the flower pot, they get all excited because they start looking for seeds in the flower pots to dig up. And if there's no seeds, they'll go on and pull a leaf or two off the plants. But anyway, I got all these down in here. They're doing pretty good. I'm happy with my tomatoes. I'll show you what we're doing over here. I know I showed you this area in a previous clip but since then I got me some flowers in there just for some color for now until you know some of my herbs germinate and get them in the ground I got some chamomile and things like that going on the peppermint's coming back it does every year and I leave it in the pot every year because one time I put peppermint in the ground and that shit spreads like wildfire y'all and you can't you can't stop it this plant right here I thought was a cabbage plant last year and it kept getting nibbled down by deer well lo and behold here it is greening up and I mean the leaves are thick like cabbage but starting to wonder. I don't know. What do you think? And of course my catnip's coming back up. That's good. The cat will be happy. That This is a cat's garden box right here. So anyway, I just think the slope's going to be pretty here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to border out like I've got it right there. I'm going to bring in some dirt 
from the old garden in the back and uh, kind of fill this up a little bit, lift it up some and use this whole little space. This is actually going to be kind of like my herb garden in here. This is what's going to suck and I got to get it done in the next couple of days. This area here is going to be for beans and peas. The problem is is that when you get in here it's all leaf and rock. Literally. Like, you know, I, I step down into leaf and then it's just rock. So, be hauling a lot of dirt there. But eventually I'd like to have this whole little rise here softened with good dirt. You know, it's going to take a few years, obviously. This little patch right here, due to the sunlight it gets, would be perfect and ideal for either wheat or corn. But the dirt conditions are not right for it. It's going to take me a couple years of, you know, chicken shit and composting and bringing dirt in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to border off uh, just enough of a space all along the fence line with rocks, put dirt in there, get the green beans and peas going in it. Um, I've got those pieces from the gazebo that blew apart with one of those fancy new weather modification wind gusts that came through not long ago. Tore down the whole thing. Um, oh, no, I take that back. The gazebo collapsed because of snow. Jeez. Anyway, um, I'm going to use the frame of that gazebo leaned up against these wooden posts for the beans to grab a hold of and climb up. This middle area here, I might get something planted in. I don't know. I'm thinking I might bring in one of my raised beds from in the back. Um, I've got one specifically that I call the potato box. We grew potatoes in it last year. It's a pretty good size one. I think I might put that in the middle here. And then next year, I can just lift the frame of the box up and that dirt that's in the potato box can go, you know, to fill in some of that area over there. So anyway, there's an old antique milk jug I painted. <laughs> I do silly shit like that. And these tires, I painted them. And the idea is you stack them up and then you fill them with your dirt and then you plant flowers in them. I used them for potatoes as well last year. So since, since I'm rearranging everything and this road right here, people can see this part of the yard, I might do something more pretty with these. I don't know. Eventually, it's going to be a little fairy garden type, English cottage garden, this whole backyard here. We've got some onions going pretty good in this box. I think I showed you these yesterday. Sorry about my shadow. But we have some uh, trees out here that are... <clears throat> Here's my rose bush. Well, that one is Mike's rose bush. Yes, we each have our own rose bush. Mine died, I think. But this is our peach tree. Look at the pretty little buds. Isn't that beautiful? Last year we had a problem with uh, the peaches were really small when they fell, and they I think they had bugs and stuff. It just was not a good year for peaches. But we had bought this black cherry tree. We actually bought two of them last year from Lowe's. And, uh, damn thing's dead. It never did anything last year. Of course, we put it in midsummer, so we didn't really expect to get anything last year off of them. But it was $50 worth of trees. So I'm going to pull them up since I still have the Lowe's tag on them. See if they'll honor their word and exchange them. But. Anyway, oh, I hear the tractor coming back, so you won't be able to hear me, so. So while I've been gardening, Mike made this nifty little building. <laughs> you open up, and as you'll note, there's a hole right there.
there's a trench under there and then this hole and then that beam there this coat you can lay this down and cover the hole and that is our smoker cold smoker but let me tell you you think it's bad digging a hole those are the rocks he had to dig through and pull out of there. <laughs>